two more clips of fouls that I would classify as jumps at. This first one comes from a girls' varsity contest. Watch this and notice where Blue initiates the jump from and where she lands. I've got her jumping about two and a half yards into White. Now, although White sees this coming, look at White's head. Her head's down here to head this ball. The top of her head, the crown of her head, is right at Blue. Now, thank God she moves quick and pulls her head out of there or else Blue's jumping right into White's head. Okay, This could be dangerous. Blue is late. This is for sure a whistle. If white doesn't get out of there, white could get white could get injured here, okay? Now, what's the difference between this one and the next one? For sure, I'll follow there. I'd actually talk, talk to Blue after on, the, on that. In this next clip, a boys' varsity contest. Again, more dangerous challenges, okay? Yeah, the, the force might not, might not be as high, but folks, look at the keeper's position here, okay? The keeper's arms are up, exposing the core of the person, the ribs, kind of like all where all the vital organs are. Notice Blue. Blue knows that he's late. He's got his body turned, his arms in to protect himself, and his leg up. Okay? If anyone's getting injured here, it's not Blue. It's the goalkeeper. Okay? Both, are, both of these are uh, challenges that, that I would have a hard whistle on and have a conversation with both players. Uh, uh, both offending, uh, of the offending player in both clips because these are both late and dangerous. Yeah, then that yeah, they're apologetic, but guys, like you can't be doing this. All right, all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.